G'day, I believe the Lord Jesus Christ wants me to share some things with you, you mob on YouTube. So I went out and bought this webcam yesterday and last night I had this dream, so I'm telling you about it. There was a wharf and I was standing on it and there was four ships. There was one, two, three, four, all one, two, three, four next to each other. And the sea, there was a sea just absolutely raging behind them raging and everyone on those boats had fallen into the sea and they were getting tossed around and drowned and washed up on the on the boats that were busting the bits there was no they were tall tall ships they were wooden boats but there was no masts no sails whether they'd been busted off or whether they were never ever there and there was a couple of blokes which were the captains running backwards and forwards up these boats and had them weird hats on, you know, the, the captain's hats. They were running up and down and, and the boats were getting tossed around and they, they, had, they didn't know what to do. They couldn't do anything. They were just freaking out and everybody's fall, or falling off, the, off these boats and in the, the rough sea just getting drowned and killed and just tossed around like anything. And then down to uh, me left was a, a still beach, a still calm beach. There was heaps of sand there and there wasn't a wave coming onto that beach. It was calm, it was perfect. And there was, a, say, 10 or a dozen people standing along that beach waiting for people to come in, hopefully getting washed in, stand on the beach. But I didn't see anyone come in. I didn't see anybody get washed up. They were just waiting. And uh, I believe the interpretation is this. There was four ships. Four is the number of creation. But the four ships that were there, they ships can mean churches. And when they, especially when they got sails on them, sails, when they got sails, it means they moved along by the wind of the Holy Spirit. But these didn't have any sails. They didn't have masts. They'd been busted off. Or like I said, never were there. But these four ships, I believe, are man's creation, and that's what the four means. I, I couldn't work it out for a while. I prayed about it over the day, and God just said, look up and see what number four means, and four means creation. So I believe these ships are, are man's creation. That's what. That's why there's four of them. And, um, and the sea, the sea represents the world, the sea tossing and turning, you know, the, the sea and the waves roaring with, perplexity like it says in the word there and the people that were in it <coughs> you know the, the the ships were tied to the wharf the wharf I believe represents Jesus Christ and the still the still beach the wharf it was steady there wasn't any movement in the wharf and uh, the ships were tied there but but the, the captains didn't want to get off the ships. They wanted to stay on the ships. They wanted to stay in charge. Didn't matter how many people were, get, were tossed into the sea and lost. They just wanted to stay there and they, they were going to go down with the ship no matter how much it was getting bashed around. And the people standing on the edge were the, the, the Christians that had found the firm foundation, found the, the right foot and to stand. They were at peace. There was peace there. But... The, the ones that were hooked, connected to the, the wharf, but still in the world, still in the sea, the foam and rage and sea, you know, instead of t getting out of the churches and finding Jesus, finding out how to listen to his voice, they listened to these captains who led them astray and they, they perished. They have uh, perished. There's real heavy-duty crap coming on the planet. And if fair dinkum, if you don't get out of these places that are keeping you bound, just run around in circles every Sunday, the same thing, you know. You're learning nothing. It says in the Bible, curse are they who put their trust in man. You've got to get out. You've got to get away from these places. Otherwise, you'll perish. And for those pastors that are still that are keeping these people bound, keeping them in their, their own little ship, you know, just keeping them so they just, that's their livelihood. You pastors are using them people for their library, livelihood. You want to read Ezekiel 34. God's not happy with you blokes and women, and women shouldn't be doing it anyway. And for the, the people, you people that are, um, 
you know, are still stuck in those places. Do you want to be in there? Is it because you feel like you're safe? You can't have one foot in the wall from one foot in the sea or one foot in God's kingdom or one foot in the world. You've got to come out. Read Jeremiah 5 and, and see what God says to you. And if you're wondering where he wants you, then go to Ezekiel chapter 20, verse 33 to 44. He wants you in the wilderness. He wants you to come out so he's the only one that can speak to you. These men that are using you, they can't brainwash you and keep you bound in these places. You've got to learn to hear the voice of Jesus Christ. There's many voices in the world and none without significance, it says in the Word. So you've got to come out and trust God to speak. Read your Bible, pray and fast. And Jesus said, my sheep hear me, my voice. You've got to learn to hear his voice. If you don't, you stay in these places, you're going to perish. You're going to perish and you'll never return. You will... It's the broad road that leads to destruction, and you'll go down. You've got to come out and find life. Read your word fast, pray, find life. And, uh, anyway, I hope uh, you can understand that. Those who aren't, haven't got Jesus Christ their Lord and Saviour, you want to repent. You want to believe Jesus, Son of God. He'll, re he'll forgive your sins. The Holy Spirit will come in. He'll start guiding you through his voice. He'll start leading you the way he wants you, and he'll keep you safe. He's the safety. He's the, the foundation, the firm foundation in the storm. He's the only way, the truth, and the life. And no man gets to the Father but through him. Amen.